It's a great marriage. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Ticket Symbol CRM Salesforce. So most recently in the news, you saw that Salesforce is actually buying Slack. So you're probably wondering, like, why would a company like Salesforce buy Slack? So we're going to take a look at that, and I'm going to tell you guys my position on this, and if this is a buy or just a wait or don't even touch. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so Salesforce is actually a customer relationship management tool that you know service people that have um, all HR or different uh, sort of businesses that they can actually manage in one location so uh, they do things like you know employee management um, sales management and all that good stuff and it's cloud-based which is uh, one of the most important thing about um, the, the, the particular solution so they are actually working to acquire slack uh, which is also uh, another company that helps uh, productivity with, uh, with companies by building teams and actually creating a, a teamwork environment. So if you have a, a, a huge team, you can actually assign tasks and do stuff and track those projects and everything within Slack. So Salesforce is buying Slack. And so you're probably wondering, but why would they be doing this? I personally think that they're, they're trying to position themselves to be more competitive in the marketplace. So, so right now for CRM tools there's a lot of competition out there right now Microsoft is one of uh, Salesforce biggest uh, competition that uh, with their Microsoft Dynamics so if Salesforce wants to actually compete they're trying to you know and, and grow they're trying to bring in other um, areas where their business can potentially expand and not just with their CRM so I think they are actually positioning themselves to go after Microsoft because Microsoft has Microsoft Dynamics and then they own also have Microsoft Teams, which is the equivalent of Slack. So if you combine that, which is all in one in one uh, suite, as opposed to going out and buying two separate products, somebody would rather just buy Microsoft Dynamics and and attach Microsoft uh, uh, Teams on it because it's easy for them to manage. You don't have to worry about two sales reps and all the, the good stuff that comes with it. So you can call one person and address issues with their Microsoft Teams and, and address issues with Microsoft Dynamics. But if on the flip side, if you have Salesforce and then you have to go get Slack, which those are two separate companies. Uh, and so it'd be difficult for you to manage and reach out to those two. So most people want uh, a one-stop shop where they can go in, get one, you know, get their, their, their solution and just have one person, one uh, contact person to resolve any issues. So I think, again, this is my speculation. I think that's the reason why they're going after it, again, to actually grow their market valuation. Because if you think about it now with Slack, you're looking at Salesforce, you're probably looking maybe about a $500 billion valuation, which is insane in, in my personal opinion. You know, Salesforce is currently trading at about $224. And even after the news that they were going to acquire Slack, the, the stock still took a beating for, for some reason. So if we if we look like yesterday, notice that the stock actually really pulled down for, you know, for obvious reasons, because it looks like the market wasn't really happy with the fact that uh, Salesforce was doing this. So uh, let's just fast forward again back to today. Um, the stock has gone up a little bit, but I think to me, this is a good entry point because uh, now the market actually this stock took a beating. If you can go get it in at this point at about 220. 2 to 225, I, I think it's a great entry point. So let's look at what uh, tip, tip rank actually puts down. So if you look at right now, the, the target price for this uh, is about $278. So if you are getting in at 224, that's still a pretty good entry point if you didn't get Salesforce from the get go, if you're still looking at getting into Salesforce. So if you look at your projected high here is 320, um, average is about 278 and low is 217. So you're just a little Bit above the low which is to right now at 225 average is 278 and the projected high is about 320 so this is uh, if you look at here the ranking here is it's a strong buy at the correct at the current price point so i'll be adding some salesforce to my portfolio because i think this thing right now is on sale so if you don't have it 
uh, definitely do some research and see if this is a stock that you might want to add to your portfolio. Again, uh, I'm looking at people like Jim Cramer being so, so bullish on, on this and thinking this is great for Salesforce. And I, I think personally, uh, from a business standpoint, I see how it gives Salesforce the opportunity to compete and also really give them that uh, a possibility of making Slack a, a, a big name in the house and they're going to increase Slack's customer because all Salesforce customers, they can turn around and upsell Slack to them right now because like, hey, if you want to manage your team and you're looking for uh, a tool to be able to help you manage your team, we have uh, Slack and we might bundle it with our Salesforce product and give it to you at a discount. So this is how the software companies usually do stuff. Um, I My background is in, in software. I did a lot of consulting. And so I know how when you go and somebody has a package solution, it's easy for you to sell compared to when you have separate products. So if you have 10 products with 10 separate reps, it's very difficult compared to if you have if you have 10 products with one rep, we did you know the ins and outs you can call one person and address all the different products so that's why i think this is a great move for salesforce I, i'm surprised that the market wasn't too excited about it but i'm excited about it so i'm going to be buying salesforce so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this salesforce uh, going and, and getting a uh, slack do you think it's a dumb move or you think it's a smart move again let me know in the comment section again, if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and also if you're looking to get started with investing Webo is currently doing a promotion right now where if you deposit a hundred dollars after opening your account you get four free stocks to get you started links in the description below it does help me because when you get a free stock i get a free stock it helps me continue to make content here on the channel and as always guys always do your homework don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated